right, what are we doing, buddy? Huckleberries. Elderberries? Yeah. Nice. All right, so we're taking the morning off here to pick some elderberries at one of our uh, favorite spots to do so. Did I say all elderberries? Yeah, I did. So we've got a few trees around us here, back behind us, kind of all around us. So we're gonna get here. Can you put these in the bag? Good job. All right, let's go to an easier tree. Okay. Yeah, look at all that medicine. It's loaded. A lot of them you can't get to, but you can grab the low hanging fruit for sure. It's funny when you're like driving past a elderberry tree or a fruit tree of any kind, really, and you're like, oh, that looks like it should be easy to pick. Then you get up to the tree, it's actually like 20 feet up in the air, and you're like, crap. And you're trying to figure out, like, oh, how do I get up here and get all this? Because for some reason in my head, all the best fruit's always at the top. Like with blackberries or something. You're like, oh, look at all those beautiful berries at the top. But then you're like, I'm going to die if I try to get those. It's just kind of funny. I don't know. So we're just picking these here clusters off the bushes. gonna be for some elderberry syrup keep us uh, gonna keep us healthy this winter so of course we'll show you what's going on uh, when we finally get to processing them which will be in this video also but for now we're just gonna go ahead and Collect as many as we can and then uh, drive back home. Before we get started on the elderberries, I want to do a, I need a mouthwash. So I've got this myrrh here that I bought uh, over in Montana. Actually, I bought it at the the Custer's Last Battle uh, store there. I don't know. They have a bunch of herbs there. I thought it was cool. I bought some, wanted to support them. Um, but I got a tooth extracted last Friday and it's got a dry socket and might be infected. Water, Not good. And so I'm going to. Can I get some water? Yeah, you want some water. Okay. So I'm going to make a, a quick tincture slurry of myrrh and Everclear. And I'm going to try to use it because myrrh is good for a mouth washer. Sometimes you can find toothpaste with it in there. Yep. Kids. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Here's your water. Mm hmm you gotta take the lid off okay so i'm gonna just make a mouthwash see if i can't get rid of this infection that i think is in there i'm pretty sure actually it is infected because the dentist told me it was so i don't necessarily want to take antibiotics so i'm going to make this up and show you what i'm doing okay so i added that in there went ahead and just covered it up with Everclear up to the because it was at the 50 mil mark. Sent it to the 150 mil mark on this little jar. I'm about to shake it up and uh, let it get dissolved. And I'm gonna go ahead and see what happens here. Mm, looking good. Very good. 
What is he doing? Why are you even in here? You better not put pellets on my floor. You better get outside. Maybe. Where are your spots going? He's just changing. I didn't even see him for a long time today. Yeah. No. Oh, little fella. So we just used some Everclear. I don't know if you can even get it in your state, but if you can, it's the best to use because it's really high alcohol by volume. Sent it in there. Looks like it's dissolving pretty good. It's going to keep shaking. Get it worked in there. And see if it helps uh, with this mouth infection. All right, so bottled up a couple of the elderberry tincture. I'm going to do a couple of St. John's wort. Probably going to do this berberine. It's an organ grape. And some of this licorice. And maybe this Brigham tea, I'm not sure. Jesslyn's over here working on the elderberries that we got today. She's going to freeze them up. And then they'll be easier to take off the uh, branches. So let's see here, we got four gallons in here. Gallons. Probably got like five gallons all together. We're just working on harvesting and putting stuff up uh, today. Just felt like a good break from building. So that's what we're working on. But I will include some updates of the house build and show you how far we've gotten uh, thus far. Okay, getting ready to strain out the St. John's wort into this here jar. Might actually just only do like one little bottle of it and leave it in this jar. And just reload the bottle because these things are kind of... They can get expensive, and I don't feel like having like 10,000 of these laying around when I could just have a jar uh, in the cabinet to refill this with. So, we're gonna get on that right now. I'm gonna set this over here, top of there. We've got uh, this longer deal here. Just gonna, and you know what I'm gonna do actually? Well, I'm gonna put that in there like that. But what I'm gonna do is since this thing came with a funnel, it'll help it keep it, uh, keep from getting all over the place. Oh, super tedious, that's awesome. But again, I don't feel like spilling this stuff all over the place, so. Terrible to try to clean up. All right, so we got our Oregon grape. St. John's wort, elderberry, raspberry leaf, Brigham tea, some more organ grape over here. And the rest overs we have over here in these jars for uh, later use. All right. Got the wall installed behind the fireplace. Yes. Good to go. Got this free metal off a project and uh, that came with the stove we bought so we were cruising right along that door actually goes over here but get in there kitchen's in cabinets are where they're going Gotta put some backsplash up behind there and wall up the upper portion. We gotta get the countertop, get the sink installed. Other than that, starting to look like a place. <laughs> 